Have you ever found yourself transported to a whimsical realm where music, friendship, and adventure converge? The Bugaloos, a 1970s television series, did just that, captivating audiences with its enchanting narrative. Whether it was the first time you tuned in or a cherished memory from years past, this show left an indelible mark on many. Now, let's delve into the fascinating world of the Bugaloos. Did you know that the series was not only a musical delight, but also a product of the vibrant creativity of the 1970s? As we explore random facts about the show, you might find yourself reminiscing about those moments when the catchy tunes and endearing characters brightened your screen. And speaking of moments, we're eager to hear about your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to the Bugaloos. Drop your stories in the comments below and let's share the nostalgia that this timeless series brings. Your anecdotes are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of our collective appreciation for this classic. So, when was the first time you watched this TV series, and what enduring memories do you hold dear? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's embark on a journey down memory lane with the Bugaloos, where every note of the soundtrack and every quirky character added a unique charm to the small screen. Get ready to rediscover the magic that made the Bugaloos an unforgettable part of television history. The Bugaloos, a whimsical and imaginative television series from 1970, emerged as a captivating blend of music, fantasy, and vibrant storytelling that resonated with audiences of all ages. Created by Sid and Marty Croft, the show transported viewers to the enchanting world of Tranquility Forest, where four anthropomorphic insect characters, Joy, IQ, Harmony and Courage formed an aspiring musical group. Living in harmony with their surroundings, they encountered challenges posed by the villainous Benita Bazaar, an eccentric and fashion-obsessed witch, and her henchman, the aptly named Funky Rat. The Bugaloo's infectious melodies, coupled with their endearing personalities, became iconic, captivating audiences with their struggles against Benita's attempts to exploit their talents. The series seamlessly wove together music, humor, and lessons in friendship, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of the era. With its unique style and memorable characters, The Bugaloos remains a testament to the creativity of its creators, offering a timeless escape into a world where harmony triumphs over discord. Phil Collins, now a legendary musician, was among the final contenders for the role of IQ. In the Bugaloos, the children's TV series, created by Sid and Marty Croft in 1970, presented an imaginative world where anthropomorphic insect characters formed a musical group. Although Collins didn't secure the role, the Bugaloos journey unfolded in Tranquility Forest, with its iconic characters and infectious melodies. Despite their Capitol Records signing, the Bugaloos faced a setback when their album and single, For a Friend, failed to gain traction. Capitol Records dropped the group from its roster in 1971, marking a turn in their musical endeavors. Behind the scenes, budget constraints prevented various towns and villains from making it to the screen. Imagine locales like Super Square and Downtown, along with characters like the Vermilion Villains and Uncle Emil with the Puppets, never materialized. These unrealized elements offer a glimpse into the creative challenges faced by the show's producers. The Bugaloos, with its mix of music, humor, and life lessons, left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of its era. The series, a testament to the creativity of its creators, remains a timeless escape into a world where harmony triumphs over discord. Martha Ray, known for her role as Boss Witch and Sid in Marty Croft's film Puffed Stuff, played a significant part in shaping the trajectory of the Bugaloos. Despite concerns about her larger-than-life personality, Sid Croft's admiration for Ray led to her inclusion in the series. This decision, against Marty's protests, added a unique dynamic to the set. Meanwhile, the flying sequences in the show posed a challenge, especially with Joy's skirt. To address this, Caroline Ellis, who portrayed Joy, had to master balancing on a swing-like flying rig, showcasing the practical solutions employed during production. Additionally, the multifaceted Billy Barty, with his background in drumming from a 1930s vaudeville act, brought his musical talent to the Bugaloos, frequently taking on drumming duties. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the series' production challenges and the collaboration with diverse talents, ultimately contributing to the show's distinctive charm and appeal. 
Martha Ray, initially hesitant about her role in the Bugaloos, eventually joined the cast as Benita Bazaar, thanks to persuasion from her friend and show creator Sid Croft. Despite her concerns about the impact on her career, Ray's inclusion added a unique dynamic to the series. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, Walker Edmiston not only voiced Sparky the Firefly, but also contributed to the show's whimsical charm. A Bugaloo's influence extended beyond its original run, as seen in the Animaniacs comic book's 30th issue, featuring a spoof that playfully mocked the show and Martha Ray's character. These intriguing facets offer a glimpse into the show's development, highlighting the challenges faced and the enduring impact it left on pop culture. Amidst the production of the Bugaloos, Lucille Ball, shooting Here's Lucy nearby, frequently visited the set. Enamored by the Bugaloos' wings, her presence added a touch of Hollywood glamour to the forest-inspired series. Meanwhile, creator Sid Croft, with a childhood spent in the circus and years on the road with his marionette act, channeled a yearning for nature into Tranquility Forest. This unique blend of Hollywood allure and Croft's wanderlust laid the foundation for a show that transcended the ordinary. Fast forward to 1999, the Crofts aimed at a feature film with the boy band Hanson, though it ultimately stalled. These diverse facets, from Hollywood royalty to the creator's nomadic past, provide intriguing insights into the multifaceted world of the Bugaloos, shaping it into a timeless TV gem. Behind the whimsical world of the Bugaloos lies a fascinating backstory. Not many know that the idea for the show's title had already taken root in the minds of its creators during the filming of Puffed Stuff. In this film, Wichipu donned the disguise of Betsy Bugaloo, hinting at the creative genesis of the Bugaloos. The connection between the two projects goes beyond the surface, laying the groundwork for the emergence of the iconic insect characters and their musical journey. Delving further into the series, an intriguing facet involves creator Sid Croft and star Martha Ray's visits to a Miami drag club named The Jewel Box. Here, they encountered a performer billed as Bibi Bazaar. Croft, aiming to entice Ray to join the cast, ingeniously adopted the name, transforming it into the iconic character Benita Bazaar. This behind-the-scenes revelation unveils the unconventional inspirations that shaped the memorable personalities within Tranquility Forest. Adding an unexpected twist to the production, the set of the Bugaloos held more than just enchanting forests and quirky characters. Directly behind Benita Bazaar's jukebox stood the abandoned set of the US Enterprise Bridge from Star Trek. During their downtime, the cast, including the Bugaloos, found themselves hanging out in this unexpected location. The juxtaposition of a fantastical forest world with remnants of a sci-fi icon adds a layer of intrigue to the series' off-screen dynamics. These snippets from the show's creation offer a glimpse into the unconventional origins and unique inspirations that birthed the Bugaloos. From the initial seeds planted during Puff Stuff to the unexpected intersections with Miami's drag scene and Star Trek relics, the series proves to be a blend of creativity and happenstance. It's a testament to the inventive minds of its creators, who crafted a timeless TV gem that transcends the ordinary. As we bid farewell to our stroll down the whimsical lane of the Bugaloos, let the vibrant melodies and kaleidoscopic adventures linger in your mind. The Bugaloos was more than just a TV series. It was a symphony of friendship, imagination, and a dash of that unmistakable 70 seconds charm. Now, dear reader, take a moment to reflect on your personal odyssey with this unforgettable journey through Tranquility Forest. Did you find yourself singing along to the infectious tunes, or perhaps daydreaming of your own magical escapades? The Bugaloos beckon us to reconnect with that inner child, to embrace the fantastical, and revel in the nostalgia. We invite you to share your cherished Bugaloo's memories, those snippets of joy that have nestled in the corners of your heart. Was it the funky tunes, the quirky characters, or the enchanting landscapes that etched a place in your soul? Your stories are the echoes that keep the Bugaloo's spirit alive, resonating through time and space. As we traverse the terrain of memories, let's build a collective tapestry of experiences, each thread a testament to the enduring magic of the Bugaloos. So, whether you're a seasoned Bugaloos aficionado or a newcomer enchanted by their charisma, your voice adds a unique note to this harmonious celebration. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic voyage, for letting the Bugaloos sprinkle a bit of magic into your day.
Your time and reflections are the ingredients that make this experience truly special. Until next time, keep the bugle of alive.